Hey YouTubers, Rick from Rick's RC and more. Uh, as you can see in front of me here, I've got the the trailer build. I've got uh, basically uh, basically the flatbed part, legs, the legs are assembled, and uh, some of the suspension. That's how far I've got so far. Just thought I'd do a little update here. and I'll compress all my updates into one video here. Uh, one thing to note, and the only reason I know this type of stuff is from watching other videos, is uh, leave these sides loose. Because when you go to put the wood in there, if you, if you tighten these right in flush like that, it's probably not going to fit. You're either going to have to loosen them all back off or uh, you're going to be uh, stripping down uh, one of the pieces of wood to get it to to fit into there so there's the build so far the uh, the legs on here if you you pull them up when you back the truck in uh, there'll be another piece there the hitch is going to hit this and actually automatically retracts those. So when you do build those, make sure that uh, they're functioning before you, you get everything all mounted up there. And there's uh, this metal rod here and a linkage that goes there to, to unlock those springs and let them the legs spring open. Uh, that's got to be from this point to that point uh, 90 millimeters in the manual. So uh, caliper would be best but if you have just a tape measure you can kind of mark out even mark out 90 millimeters on a piece of paper and, and line up the edges this inside edge of the the end and this side edge from there to there should be uh, 90 millimeters <clears throat> so yeah just a, a quick little update I've uh, I'm probably about three hours into the build I'm not gonna be painting it up fancy or anything uh, I'm just going to leave it in its uh, raw aluminum form and uh, go from there and put in a basic light kit for the trailer. So as I build on, I'll, uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to do the whole build. We'll just uh, do bits and pieces here. All right, so it's probably, probably been about another hour. I just kind of been taking my time, but... Uh, the rear suspension is uh, set up and working. Suspension, the legs, the kingpin hitches in. Uh, next is going to be uh, gluing up some tires, which uh, will probably be time, con time consuming, but uh, we're carrying on. We're moving on. Um, i probably not going to finish this build tonight. I, uh, I gotta have to probably do some soldering when I get into the wiring because I think I'm gonna add one extra LED on each side on the back just for the uh, the running lights. But uh, other than that, uh, I might do the tires tonight. I don't know yet. I might wait till tomorrow. Just another little update here, and uh, I'll see you back in a little while. All right, so. I've got uh, quite a bit completed here. Um, the uh, the axles are done, the suspension, the tires, uh, the legs. I've got the, the front on the trailer. It's just now a matter of, uh, I think the next step is probably going to be start to get some of that uh, that wiring through before I put the, uh, the wood bed on. Uh, I think I am going to add some extra running lights on it. Just kind of showing you the stages through. Now adding uh, adding those wheel bearings. You get nice smooth wheel action. Instead of the uh, instead of using the the bushings or metal bearings as they call them in the manual. And I'll uh, I'll season a little bit on my uh, my next steps. Uh, 
So I'm at a point in the build where I had to I had to run the wiring. I was gonna add two extra LEDs at the back because they only give you enough LEDs actually for uh, one of your red, which is your tail lights, brake light, and then your amber turn signal. I just want to I didn't want to hack into that that new wiring harness, so I kind of put that on hold. Um, I'm just gonna assemble it the way it is and the one set of lights won't light up for now anyway um, if you I just want to note this okay so if you want to use this as a tr true flatbed and not have the the stakes up that run up uh, along the sides uh, you have you have different choices you can just run the stakes or you can add these and add the stakes to them to bring it out a little bit but the, uh, the issue is here, you kind of got to make that decision because you got this nut back here. And you can't take these on and off once you've laid your floor down. Of course, once your floor is down, it's uh, put down with two-sided tape across the beams there. So you, you really don't want to have to tear that up. Um, now, it comes with these, these little hooks here. Those go in your 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 stakes for the chain to, to hook onto. Uh, the holes in them are too small, of course, to add onto here. If you want to just have the hooks with these blocks, so I just got a I got a one eighth drill bit, and I just put each of these in that vise individually and uh, drilled them out, so that the uh, the screws that go into that that flange nut inside the trailer will fit through, and so you can still have. You can still have your, your hook points for your chains if you want to just wrap them around something or uh, if you want to use these for some like mini straps or something to have something strapped down on the trailer. So I just thought I'd, uh, I'd note that as I'm going along in the build. Uh, I haven't mounted the bumper yet of the mud flaps because you got to get all your wood in here and then tighten down your sides because they, they're on a... There's, there's, they're slotted where they're bolted all the way down. I don't want to have to uh, guess or then wind up trimming a piece of the wood. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount these I think along here, and then I'm gonna see how the wood fits and go from there. I'll be back in a short while. All right. Well, the trailer's complete, put together. Um, I'm probably not gonna bother putting any of the stickers on it. There's some fake reflector stickers, but. Uh, I'll just leave it raw aluminum for now. Next we'll be um, hooking it up to the truck. Uh, I've already tested the lights and everything out. Um, I haven't yet added LEDs to these. I have lots of spare wire down here, lots of coiled up wire left over to uh, to do that down the road. I just didn't feel like hacking up a that brand new uh, wiring set. And of course you have your, your chains here that uh, hook onto these little guys to, to strap stuff down, so I'll have to try that out. Uh, putting the bed on like like everybody says, uh, starting from the middle and working your way out, just uh, I don't know. It didn't seem like it would really work. Uh, they do have in your plastic beams you run down here. They do have little um, little marks on them or like a little flange all the way down to show you where the middle is. But uh, I just I loosened the sides and and kind of put all the wood in before I put the stickers on and just snugged everything up and just kind of snugged the screws underneath and then uh, started back over at this end. Now it doesn't tell you in the kit but uh, obviously too for your your lights here you need to uh, trim this one piece of wood. You can't get it up under there obviously because you got the, uh, the wire right there if I can actually get this on camera and you want to make sure that all your wood strips are are even here at the back so yeah you got to trim that 
trim that one. So uh, next step will be to have her hooked up to the truck and get everything on the uh, truck finished up and I'll, uh, I'll have a follow-up video here. See you in a bit. <laughs> 